uh, in the last 10 years or so, uh, one set of experiments which are often called the hole in the wall experiments showed that groups of children are able to teach themselves anything if they have access to the internet. So, so what I was trying to find out is, uh, is there a way that children in those areas can actually learn things? So one of the ways of course is to give them the internet. But if you just give them the internet, then what will they do with it? Uh, when I say anything, I mean anything, really difficult things. And we studied this for years and years and measured it and published it and it's now really like a method. It's called a self-organized learning environment. So, so what I want to try here today is to, is to see if we can take a, a really big question, the kind of question which no, none of us, none of the adults here actually know the full answer. And can we find the answer to a question like that by yourselves? So you understand that we can't help you because we don't know the answer. The first thing is you make yourselves into groups of about four, not less than three, not more than five. Each group will use one computer because to solve a big problem, just the computer is not enough. You have to be able to discuss. Okay, you can change your group anytime. You can talk as much as you like within the groups. You can talk across the groups to other groups. You can walk around and see what other groups are doing. The idea is to, to let the children control their own learning by presenting them with a problem or a question which is carefully constructed so that it is a difficult question and the child, but at the same time the children find it interesting. Um, have you heard of, do you know what a primate is? Okay, primates are basically like chimpanzees, gorillas. Do you know that we have descended from them? Probably happened somewhere here. So, somewhere there, about uh, half a million years ago, some group of monkeys got down from the trees and stood up. And then they moved all over the world. So, so two, two questions. Dos preguntas. And they're very difficult questions. Very few son, people know the son answer. Bien difíciles. How did they travel? How did the first human beings travel all over the world? And the second one, when and how did they lose their hair? One lot went into Europe and one lot came down into the east. What about the hair? And that was because when uh, the, the hair disappeared and people began using wearing clothes. I didn't know that. that, that as, as this, as the, because they invented clothes, they didn't need the hair. And probably because the men could not cover their face with clothes. Y probablemente porque los hombres no se podían cubrir la cara con ropa. The hair remained. Ahí dejaron pelo. <laughs> and because it's all very cold, they started covering themselves and they lost their hair. And finally became human beings. Y finalmente se volvieron seres humanos. And here is an example. Y aquí hay un ejemplo. <laughs> That is 
un ejemplo that, de ser That humano. was fantastic for 40 minutes. Su gata lo felicita, hicieron un trabajo excelente en 40 minutos. Uh, at the end of which, each of the groups will make a presentation. And the teacher does not add much to the presentation, but simply summarizes what each group is saying. Most of the time, as we saw today, you will find that they get to the exact answer. So, it's inexpensive, it's very efficient, and the teacher gets an opportunity to observe the class rather than to constantly talk.